Welcome. In front of me is a Nubia Red Magic 8 Pro and today I will show you how you can put this device into safe mode. So, to get started you will need to hold your power button right over here. And after a moment you will get the boot options right here and you want to hold power off. Once you do so, it will then change into reboot to safe mode. And just kind of read the message right here. Do you want to reboot into safe mode? This will disable all third-party applications you have installed. They will be restored when you reboot again. I'm going to click on OK. And when it's rebooting, I'm going to quickly go into that message or what it means. So when you're booting up the device into safe mode, the mode is designed for troubleshooting your, your device. So if you have some kind of problem with it where some maybe malicious application uh, that you have installed is preventing you from being able to operate your device correctly or maybe getting rid of that application, you can boot it into safe mode. And this application will no longer be able to launch itself, nor will you be able to do so as well. And as you can see, I have a bunch of applications that will not work uh, in this mode. So each one of those monochrome looking applications are the apps that just cannot function right now. And even if I try to open, open it up, it gives me this really loud notification sound. I'm gonna mute it again. There we go. And in any case, when you try to open it up, uh, it says not allowed uh, to use this downloaded app in safe mode. So there we go. Um, there's other applications that you can use, like the default ones, calendar, clock, uh, file manager, couple apps and tools, and uh, Google applications right here, Play Store, settings, and so on. So you have still access to the default apps that, you, that your device comes pre-installed with, but there is a caveat, not every application uh, that come installed with your device will fall under this category because, for instance, Home will come, I believe, pre-installed with this device, Contacts as well, and yet these two applications are disabled right now. Anyway, with that being said, once you're done with this mode and you want to go back to the normal one, hold your power button once again and this time around just simply tap on restart. Once the device boots back up again, it automatically goes back to normal mode, which you'll be able to see just in a second. And here we go. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.